Now, living in the east coast of Canada and always getting the Seabuck 65 at venues here in Atlantic Canada and a couple times throughout the other parts of our country, um, I'd always only heard about his shows in other countries and, and in the U.S., how he's, you know, selling out clubs and people are coming out to see him in mass numbers. And it's all, it was always really cool to hear, but for the first time I got to experience it, at the South by Southwest Music Festival in Austin, where Rich played to a completely packed house who were completely captivated by him. And it was a really great experience to see. It was the best time I'd ever seen him play. He's got all kinds of stuff going on right now. He's got a new record label in the U.S. He's got a new album coming out in the U.S. A new, another new one with new songs coming out in Canada later. All kinds of stuff happening. He told us all about it, including the fact that he misses home. Hey, Rich. Hey. Welcome, uh, welcome to um, Going Coastal. It's good to be back. I've been here a few times before. Yeah, you're no stranger. Uh-uh. This is a little bit different, though, because we're not really uh, near the east coast of Canada, are we? We're closer to uh, the Gulf of Mexico, I think. Yeah. Here, in Austin. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Tejas. I'm on V2 Records in the U.S., so I can boast label mates like Ricky Lee Jones and Toots and the Maytals and Paul Weller and the White Stripes, which is cool. We're a nice little happy family. The first record that I put out on V2 was sort of an introductory record, and that could be a nicer way to say a greatest hits, ah. which is... That's, that's ugly. That's ugly. It was a collection of uh, material from the older uh, records, so I don't want anyone to feel like they're uh, missing anything because th they're all songs that appeared on, uh, on the older records or at least as B-sides. Four, six, three, an X, an O, and I can't think of a better way to end the day. So there's, there's a new album. There'll be a new album for people in Canada here, right? Yeah. In May. Is there anything you want to say about that? Yes. Please do. I've gone collaboration crazy. Uh oh. Yeah, which I never really uh, had done before. Uh, so there will be some uh, familiar names and faces uh, for Canadians out there. Well, some of it I want to keep secret. Gotcha. Uh, for people to see when it comes out. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking about it though, but I did I did record most of the songs with a band from Chicago called Tortoise. Wow! I employed the duties of a fine fine DJ from California named D Styles. I'm very tempted to spill the beans on who else, but I really want there to be some nice surprises there. And there's some keep it secret. There's some big surprises, so uh, you'll see. Some. Can we talk really quickly about your point coming tour with Moby? Is he excited about that? No. Um, <laughs> Moby and I are label mates now, and uh, he took a took a shine to me. He, he uh, took an interest in in uh, my record and uh, requested my presence there personally. He's someone I figure I could probably learn a, a thing or two from. Ooh. So, uh, so yeah, we got, a, we got a little more than a month together, mostly around the US, but we got some Canadian dates as well. And um, that'll be my first time actually doing shows back in Canada in quite some time now. I'm a little yeah. homesick, to be honest with you. Yeah. When are you coming home, Rich? Um, well, the plan right now is to do kind of what you might call a, a festival or a folk festival circuit this summer to support the new record when it comes out. But we got a list of towns that we know we need to hit, and right at the top of that list is uh, is uh, Halifax, of course. And uh, we want to make a few other stops around uh, the Maritimes. So. Uh, you know, look for me to be playing outdoors in a town near you. That's the plan. I like the open air, you know. 500 excuses and working on a dozen more. Unemployed again, your parents ain't because I'm poor. Yeah, hey, you lousy maritime bastards. You want to see a music video? Take a look at this.